Okay, guys, welcome to the madness. So, I couldn't vlog all week because where I usually put you guys, well, I don't know what that was. We're in Johnny's van, by the way. Where I usually put you guys in my car, I can't have the visor down. And it has been really sunny and we had snow one day as you can see it's all gone I thought he was gonna run into me sorry so when there's snow on the ground and the Sun is shining it blinds me so I have to have the visor to be able to move it to the side what is that the driver's side yeah because the sun is just blinding. So I had to take you guys down. I ordered the thing. Hopefully tomorrow I can install it and you guys will be on the dashboard like you are in John's car. Oh, that's a big ass bump. Sorry guys. So that's why I haven't been vlogging all week because you do not. Oh my God. He, what does he have in the back seat? It sounds like a whole bunch of pop bottles. That's most likely what it is. Oh my God. Um, you don't want me holding you in your my hand. Yeah, yeah. is that how I feel? Okay. What the hell? Okay, that was probably my wrapping paper. Oh my God. We're just gonna ignore the crashing in the back. Um, yeah, so. I mean, you guys already get enough shake with you being on my windshield. If I was holding that, yeah, you wouldn't be able to see it. Good point of reference whenever I held the camera. Oh, God, yes. That was awful, too, wasn't it? But you were in this van every time you held the camera. Oh, wait, no. Mother's Day, you held the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't have a good setup then. We didn't have anything to mount it. I was the mount. You were the mount. <laughs> well, I did, but you guys would be just staring at my um, radio. <laughs> you could see how long it takes us to deliver. Yeah, no. So, um, we thought, I'm sorry, my train of thought just went out the window. We thought, well, you guys got to have a vlog. I didn't do my mirrors. I just realized that's why... I, had a brain thought from fart fart okay hold on let me do my mirrors okay now we are good to go um yeah so we thought you guys have to have a vlog today so why not have another special vlogger as a co-host Becca, you can put that right there so you don't have to hold it. Yeah, I keep forgetting that exists. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll tell you what's been going on this week. What did I finish? Did I finish a diamond painting this week? Uh, your coffee one. Well, yeah, but that, that was yesterday. I'm thinking at the beginning of the week, what did I do? Huh. Oh, I worked on, oh my gosh. Those Diamond Art Club Christmas cards. Well, I'm not even saying it's Diamond Art Club. I did work on the Diamond Art Club, but I worked on the AliExpress ones too. <sighs> they take time. <laughs> they take a lot of time. You don't want to rush through them. And there's color blocking, but you can't color block because it's not a normal canvas. So, yeah. But... It did give me time, and I, I got a little, like, what is it called? Nostalgic? Nostalgic? Right? Yeah, that's the word. So, I knew who was getting which card. So, as I was diamond painting, I was thinking of them. So, you know, it was kind of nice to do that. But, God, they were a pain in the ass. They took forever. So I got the first batch out. Second batch is coming. So if you haven't gotten a card, you might be getting one soon. Um, yeah. But they were a pain, let me tell you that. Do 
Tuesday, sorry, did it go live? But that's, uh, that's another reason why I haven't gotten a lot of stuff done this week. For the last mm, week and a half, I have been waking up with a migraine. I think it's because the weather is changing. And especially, like, we've been having, like right now, it's 50 degrees out here. Yesterday, it was 23 degrees. So with the weather going, I can't say hot, but slightly warm to absolutely freezing your tits off, as I would like to say, to, okay, I can live with this weather, to, like, the weather right now, I am just in a hoodie and feel quite comfortable. And then tomorrow, I bet y'all have my three jackets on while I'm working, because, oh, the weather is so crazy right now. So I'm hoping that's why I'm getting these migraines. But I had a migraine Tuesday, and John was just... Oh, excuse me. He was not feeling good. He wanted to go to bed. And I'm like, do you want me to just cancel my live? And he looked at me with those big old blue eyes of his. Yes, blue eyes. Brown eyes, sorry. Brown. I don't know why I said blue. Brown eyes. And he's like, yes, please. I'm like, okay. I said, I have a migraine anyway, so I'm off. And I hate going on when I'm off. Because I feel like, why am I on here the live is just going to be either boring or downright shitty, so. With me trying to desperately save it with weird stuff. <laughs> you desperately try to, when have you desperately tried to save it? Would you rather? That was fun! Oh, I felt like I was being desperate trying to keep the chat alive. No, it was fun. No, I love playing Would You Rather. When I play Would You Rather, it's because I'm in a great mood. And not trying to save my chat. No. No, I have only... There was two lives that I was like, Oh God, should I just take these down? Because these were the worst things ever. But I don't edit myself. So if it's up, it's up. So... Um... Yeah. Is that saying that okay what? look it says the big old thing oh because we're recording oh is that it oh okay okay it didn't stop the recording so that's good I just never seen no because last time it didn't do that you it's because plugged I'm plugged in. in okay okay so Tuesday did nothing because oh my god my migraine Wednesday Wednesday me and Morgan decorated oh my god what a pain was that when we when I when I get home I know we weren't even moving and it's saying that we were running into the car ahead of us no we haven't moved in look at how much space there is but anyways um Wednesday Wednesday we well when we get home or when I get home I'm gonna show you my Christmas decorations yay now Sorry, but we didn't decorate outside. And I think I explained this my last vlog. Because we were going to, because the one day it was like 65 degrees. And I asked your dad, I'm like, hey, you want to decorate? Because, you know, it's going to be warm tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, let's do that. The wind was so strong. If we would have put our floaters out there, our float inflatables, that's yeah. what they're called. They would have floated away. It was so bad. And then we were like, do we even really want to? Because last year, it was windy too. Like, at the beginning of December, if it's windy, you know it's going to be windy the whole time. And it's been very windy the last week. He's like, do you really want to just put them all out there and fight with this weather every day? Having to chase down our inflatables? And I'm like, not really. I'm like, well, do you want to put lights on the awning at least? And he's like, not really. I'm like, okay, well, we've already decided we weren't putting up our Christmas tree because with Jonathan and Morgan still living there, Rebecca lives in, or lives, what do you, 
Rebecca's room is in our room, basically. Her dresser, her bed, everything is in our room. Now, mind you, my room, my bedroom, is what they call a... What is it? I don't know. Parlor room? I guess. It's, it's a living room in the back of the house. Put it that way. So we have a living room in the front of the house. And then we have, I think it's called a parlor room. Yeah, I think so. That's what I'm remembering from history classes. Yeah. I was going to say Florida room, but no, that's what's on the outside of our house. Yeah. It's the Florida room. So anyways, my room is very big. It's a living room. And it's twice as big as the front room. So... We have all of her stuff back there. So, the living room, now that I'm crafting, and John's a crafter, and I have all my crafty stuff, which you guys have seen my living room, and all my crafty stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The craft supplies. Craft supplies and the cube and organization drawers. I have it I'm surrounded by crafts, basically. We even had to get rid of our couch. <laughs> because I kept getting more crafts and needing more storage. And the couch got broke. So, I mean. So, there is a place for Becca to sit. It's called a love seat? No, a love couch? Uh, what's that thing called? It's just a chair that is big. No, it, there's a certain name for a cuddle couch. It's a cuddle couch. Meaning two people can sit in it. And if they're going to sit in it, they better be cuddling. Because it's like a, a chair and a half. Yeah. So, um, it's called a cuddle chair. Okay. Yeah. Um, which, it used to be Jonathan and Morgan's chair. <laughs> because they would just cuddle up in it. But, oh yeah, okay, where I was at. So, because I have so much stuff in the living room, there is literally no place to put the tree. Can't put the tree, what was that? Okay, can't put the tree in my room, because we usually put the tree in my bedroom. <laughs> Sounds so strange. But, because that's where we unwrap the presents, too. Because... Before, before we moved mom into Jonathan's room and then Jonathan into Becca's room and Becca into my room, we had in my room, my bedroom, a couch, two chairs, the bed, the TV, the fridge. We had everything back there and the tree. It all fit back there. It was like a studio apartment without half the kitchen and the bathroom. Exactly. Yes, you're right. That's the perfect way to explain it, Becca. So, and this year, we're going to unwrap the gifts in the back room. Because what I was thinking today is me and Daddy would do it on our bed. Jonathan Morgan would do it in your bed. And then we'll bring in the chair from Jonathan's room. And it's your turn to play Santa anyways. So you can unwrap your gifts and be right by the gifts. And yeah. it all works. Because next year I will have my living room back. And I'll have a whole new living room set. And we'll all be able to sit in the front room again together. With the big ass Christmas tree. This, are, this is my life goal. This year to get my son out of my house. And get our house back to normal. Because once he moves out, then the Florida becomes my crafting kitchen storage area. We're putting cabinets in there and shelving and everything. So, what can withstand cold is going to be in that room. Can withstand cold and heat. And heat. Oh, yeah. And heat. You're right, Buck. But appliances can, you know? Yeah. And some of my craft supplies can. Like, 
my cross stitching, I felt really, whoa, I don't like this. I don't know, but doesn't it feel like he's coming in yes. my lane? Idiot. I had to actually get in the other person's lane. That's not right. Okay, sorry about that. So, I really felt like we were going to crash right then. Okay, can you open my Coke? Because now I feel like I really need to take a drink. Okay, so... What was I just saying? You talk while I drink. Well, you are right that some of your craft supplies can't withstand heat. I'm not sure what craft supplies you're going to keep stored out there. Oh, I said. that's what I was saying. Cross stitch, my needles, my thread, my material, my books. You want to keep my yarn out there too? Oh, your yarn? Yes. Yes, your yarn, your plastic canvas, because it doesn't matter. It's not going to get too warm out there. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot of heat to make that melt. Yeah, like we wouldn't put the paints or the sealers or um I wonder if we can we really need to look that up if we could store the diamond paintings out there. I don't know. If you know, can we can diamond paintings what are what is the temperature range that diamond paintings can be stored at? Because, oh my God, if I could keep the diamond paintings out there, whoo, whoo. I'd still keep mine in my room because I don't have that many. Well, yeah. Well, I would keep a handful, you know, like my next five that I'm going to do. But for my, my other storage, yeah. So that's my goal because it's time. I need my house back to normal. When has it ever been normal? Oh, thanks. Okay. Well, no, it hasn't. It's never really been normal. Our living situation has never been normal. Not since you've arrived on the <laughs> scene. We've always just lived in a too small of a house. And then we got this house where we're like, okay, everyone can have a room. And then you guys don't. I have a big heart and tell my mom she could live with us because she can't live on her own. But for a brief moment, we all had a room to ourselves. But for a brief moment, yes, we all had our own room. But you have to admit, it's better that she's in Jonathan's room yes. than in the living room. Yes. Because we had no privacy and that sucks when you're in your own house and you have no privacy. You walk to the bathroom and you're getting Stare 20 man. questions. It's like, can I just go to the bathroom, please? You know? So, anyways. It felt like you were a prisoner in your own house. You were just had to hide in your bedroom. Especially me. She had to drag you into my room. <laughs> yeah, she had to drag Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, we're staying negative. We're staying negative. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're positive people, not negative. So let's stay on the negative. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell? Why can't I say it? We're going to stay positive. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was funny, though. Um. Okay. So, anyways. Wow. <laughs> How did we get on all of that? So, we don't have room for the Christmas tree. But. We do put garland up by the ceiling. Now, in our old house, which Jonathan hated it. It looked beautiful. He loved the end result. He hated putting it up. We put Christmas lights on our ceiling. And it was amazing because, oh my God, that house was small. That house was so, so small. Almost half our living room that we have now. Yeah. So... There was never a room for a tree in that house. We did have a teeny one that we would put on top of the entertainment center. But do you know how many times that thing fell off the entertainment center? A lot. Yeah. So. Like we kept it on top of that tiny, tiny steel table. Yeah. And we would even, we would put the lights on the ceiling and then we would hang ornaments from, the, from it. It was really cool looking. But, oh, Jonathan hated it so much. 
So when we moved to this house, he's like, please, can we never do it again? I'm like, well, yeah, we'll not, we'll always have room for a tree. Well, what was it, two years ago? We, it was, no, it was four years ago. It was our first Christmas in this house. So, 2015. Yeah, so four years ago, we uh, went to Home Depot and we had a new house and we're like, screw it, we're getting all new decorations and everything. So I always wanted pre-lit garland. And John bought me pre-lit garland. And so at the top of the walls, right? Is that how I'm describing it? Yeah. We have, I think it's 16 feet of garland. It might be even more than that. Yeah. Because 8 feet and 8 feet would be 16 feet. It might be like 26 feet, probably. I don't know. We have a lot of garland, and what we do is we light it with blue and white lights, and then I made these beautiful blue and silver and different blue shades of blue really yeah. ribbon bows and last year we had ribbon threaded through it and then I have uh, silver and blue ornaments that hang kind of off of it or clusters there's clusters on it and then I have big ornaments that hang off of it I love it it's beautiful well, getting back to Wednesday. Me and Morgan were going to decorate. And I told her, we're not doing the tree, we're just doing the garland. And she's like, okay. So we get out the garland and it was very weird. Where the blue would be, the white was out. Where the white was, the blue was out. There was no way to salvage any of the lights. And I forgot that it was pre-lit. So, we're trying to take off the white lights. And that's the pre-lit part. And saving the blue. And then we see, oh, it's through the whole thing. So, there is no saving the white lights whatsoever. So, we take the blue off. Well, we start to take the blue off. And we notice, oh, it's not one strand. It's half the strand. So we had to cut out all the lights. Had to, to do that, we had to take off all the ornaments and the bows. So basically, we started from scratch, which was kind of cool because it's this would have been its fourth year. The garland was pretty much smushed. So as we were cutting off the lights and everything, then Morgan was fluffing the garland, and so I went. We went. We all went to Home Depot, and we got new lights. And that's when we got that drawer mat. Your father picked up that drawer mat. I'll show you guys when we get home. It's the cutest thing, but you forget it's there and it scares the shit out of you, <laughs> which is hilarious. And we let our, we let each kid walk in and let that scare the crap out of them, and it was hilarious to watch their faces. So, the one Jonathan was hilarious because I forgot about it, and he opens up the door and he's like, "Holy shit!" and he starts like doing this dance, like his hit, his feet are on fire, and I'm like, "What the hell are you doing?" And he's like, "That fucking mat scared the shit out of me," and I'm like. But why are you dancing on it now? It was hilarious. <laughs> so, oh, Becca, stop. I hate that laugh. <laughs> there you go. I hate that one. It goes right through me. Oh, so, um, while we were at Home Depot, I got a message saying that I had, because that day, 
I had all my deliveries done by 1130. Yeah, and didn't get a call until 2 o'clock that I had another one. So, John took us to Home Depot, and he's like, well, do you want me to just drive you to the shop to get it? And I'm like, no, because while I'm at the shop, he didn't know this, because me and Morgan, he wasn't biased when I got the phone call. While I was at the shop, Morgan relit the garland, and she did it a different way, so if it does burn out in a section, it'll be real easy to take off. And then she fluffed the hell out of it. Did you see how fluffy it was this year? Yes. So then, once I got home, we redid it. We re-put it together. But, you know, oh, because we bought new bulbs, too, at the home, at the Home Depot. At Home Depot. So we had to recluster and everything. So, and what was funny is we got the same exact ones as we did the year before. It's just a little different. But it had the same snowflakes in it. So, then after that, um, yesterday, no, today. You did it today, right? The wrapping of the frames? Becca did the wrapping of the frames and Jonathan put the snowflakes on the wall. So, this Christmas, we all participated in our own little ways, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so that was Wednesday, and that took all of Wednesday. No, that was Tuesday. Yeah. No, it was Wednesday. Because Tuesday, you were feeling off and you go live. Yeah, Tuesday, I was feeling off. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was an animal. <laughs> I thought it was a skunk flying up at my car. That they hit it and then I was going to hit it. Oh my God, I don't need to be on the road today. Help me. Oh my God. I'm awake. If I wasn't awake before I got on the road, holy crap. Thursday. 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 What did I do Thursday? Thursday. I cleaned my room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I cleaned my room. Now, I'll tell you how trash my room was. My room still had it, had it, had the paint and our suitcases in it from our trip in September. Yeah. It was trashed. Because Thursday is when all the packages, Monday, what did I do Monday? I shopped and I shopped and I shopped and I shopped. I Cyber Monday shopped. My little tookish off. Tookish? Tookish. Whatever. So, Thursday is when, now not all of them are in here, are, are, are ah, tongue tied. Not all of them are here yet. But a good portion is. So I was cleaning my room to get ready to have a place. That guy is coming in my lane. Have a place to wrap the presents and then um, put the presents. That's why I had to clean my room because I had to clean that area where everyone was dumping everything that needed to go to either the Florida room or the garage. I had to clean that section out so I had a place for the Christmas presents. And by the time I got done with that, I didn't feel like wrapping presents. And then I was thinking, hmm, tomorrow is Friday. That's Tomorrow okay. I go get Becca. Hmm. Becca is the rapping queen. Let's just save them for rough. <laughs> so I have Rebecca's presents to wrap when I get home. I hid those. And so. like half a nana still left to wrap. Huh? And half a nana still left. Oh, I have half a Dana still to wrap. I'll leave those for you for next weekend. 
I'll wrap those because by the time you come home next weekend, you're going to have another shitload of presents to wrap. <laughs> but you got one of your early Christmas presents. I have a cooling rack. I got Becca stackable cooling racks because we're hoping next weekend Becca wants to, we tried it once before like a month ago and it was an epic fail but it's okay. Becca wants to start doing what's in the pots, but um, I bake. She's a baker. That's what I was trying to say. She's the baker of the family, and she's like, I would try, I want to try doing some of the what's in the pots with my baking, and I'm like, oh, that'd be great, and I think it was Laura's idea, wasn't it? When I was talking with friends, that's when it came up. She was telling you to make um, bonbons, remember? Yeah. And she's like, yeah, and you can videotape it and um, do what's in the pot special edition with Becca or Tiny Pufferfish. And we're like, what the hell are bonbons? So then we started looking it up and it's like, ooh, let's make bonbons. But we didn't have any of the stuff to make bonbons. So she was going to make caramel brownies and... All you could see was my head. All you could see, poor Becca, was the top of her head. You couldn't see, she was trying to show you how she, you know, stirs it all together, adds the caramel, but she didn't know to look up to see where the camera was. Every time I looked up, it was good. Every time she looked up, it was good because you stood back to look up, but when we were watching it back, I'm like, Becca, all we see is your head shaking, and it's just shaking, 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 and I'm like, there, I don't think there's any way we can salvage this, except for maybe if you were like diamond painting, and we voiced over that part, but I wouldn't even know how to cut that to voice over or nothing, and then when she was taking it, putting it in the oven and taking it out was perfect. But the whole mixing, and I mean, she was great. She was showing you the ingredients, but all you saw was her head. And it was like, what you were saying was awesome, but all they could see is the top of your head. <laughs> so we had to ditch that and she hasn't baked since that day. So, she wants to do some baking for you, so, hence the reason why she got her Christmas present early, she got stackable Christmas cook, no, stackable cookie, cooling racks, thank you, cooling racks, well, she basically only makes cookies around Christmas, so, <laughs> that's why I always want to say cookie Christmas racks, <laughs> but, yeah. So Friday, what do we do Friday? Oh, Friday, we had to work Friday night. I'm still sore. Oh, I'm still sore too, oh my gosh. And then yesterday was my crafting with friends. And then today she did the wrapping of the picture, frame. picture frames. Thank you, babe. Woo. Sorry, yawning. Um, and tomorrow we can tell you you're going to get what's in the pot. You're finally getting your chicken tacos that I thought I put up like two months ago. You never put it up. I don't know where it went, what happened to it. It's not up there anywhere. I can't find it. Okay, so you remember me making it. Yeah. So I'm not going crazy. I thought for sure we had made that before. I even went in all of my what's in the pots and renamed them. Instead of them being what's in the pots, you can just go Instapot cabbage and sausage. Instead of having to click on it to figure out what it is. Yeah, they're nowhere, Becca. Nowhere. You can't find them anywhere. So, tomorrow you finally get your chicken tacos. 
But that was like one of the first things I ever made in the Instapot. It was the first thing you made in the Instapot. Was it the very first thing I ever made in the Instapot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's crazy. It's nowhere to be found. Becca's actually on YouTube trying to found it. What is where? Is the pot I mean what's in the pot Monday number eleven? What is it? Chicken tacos. No. What? Push play. Kidding me? I'm not kidding you. It's even in the description. Chicken tacos. No. Well, you're gonna get them again because we actually improved the recipe. Improved it. Really? Yep. Huh. Now I feel like I'm losing my mind, Becca. Okay, now I'm just like, I'm just sitting here going, I'm like... And it was three months ago, which is probably why you don't... I just read all of them to Daddy today. What is before that? Okay, so I'm not going crazy. I never put it in the what's in the pot watch list. So that's it. It's not in the what you got, what you got in the pot watch list. Yeah, it's not in there. No. Want me to see if there's any other videos you missed? Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel like such an airhead right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, what exit are we at? Because I think we're getting close. It feels like we're close. Oh, yeah, because there's the resting area. Rest area. The resting area. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that, Becca. Yeah, I was like... I remember making that video. <laughs> well, we'll see. Now it'll be interesting to watch it and see because we've made chicken tacos since then at least, what, six times, Becca? Yeah. So maybe we improved on the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, oh, that's kind of did since we now use pre-cooked chicken. So shredding it after letting it cook. Yeah. And we use less water now, too, which makes a big difference in the flavor. Yeah. So. Oh, I still think the corn shells are better. Oh, corn shells are a hell of a lot better, but. Yeah. So that's basically what we did this week. Oh, and me and Becca started our coloring. Um, Advent. Okay, because I can never say that word right, and I said it right for once. Wow. Um, coloring calendar-ish. It's not really a calendar. It kind of is. It kind of is. Up to Christmas. Yeah. So, which I haven't posted them on Instagram. I totally forgot to post. So, you guys, here we go again. I have the pictures, but now that I was just thinking about it, I don't remember posting them on Instagram. So. Was I supposed to post it on Instagram? I wanted you to. It was something we were doing together, but you haven't posted crap, so can you start posting them? Sure. Thank you. And we'll tag each other. That sounds good. Like it. 
So, in my defense, I've been pretty tired during the week. Yeah. True. But now, can we start doing that? Yes. Do you know when your last day of class is? No, I do not. Okay. You should be getting to know that soon, right? Yes. When your finals are? Just know that they start next week. Oh, really? Yes. Which is why I'm staying up this weekend. Okay, that's that's fine with me. Well, if it's not busy, I'll come up Friday and just take you to the post office and take you out to dinner. Okay. And then I'll leave. How's that sound? Sounds good. Because I know the library's open till. Or how about. No. Because the library's open till midnight on Friday, but then closes, what, at noon on Saturday? Six. Six? Yep. Okay, we'll work something out. Okay, here we go. I'll come up Saturday night, take you out to dinner, get your packages, and I'll mail them out Monday for you. Okay. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay. That way you can have the time in the library all the time that you can get in there. Yes. Which, it makes no sense. Because then, tonight, it's open till midnight. You would think that set, it would be the other way around. Sunday, it would close at like noon, one o'clock. So you have Sunday night, or just be closed on Sunday. But to be closed Saturday night, it's like, that's just strange to me. So people who work at the library can still have someone on the weekend. Mm. Okay. How I always just thought of it. I don't know. I just think it's crazy. But I know you need to spend a lot of time in the library. Because that's where the computers are. Yes. Now. Oh, I guess. Because <clears throat> it's the same computers that would be in your SAG classrooms. Yep. So, when... What is the, okay, what is the place that they call where your SAG classes are when they're not in the library? Sill Hall. Okay. But how that's under renovation. I know, but let's say last year when it wasn't under renovation. Renovations. Thank you, renovations. How late was Sill Hall open till? I want to say around midnight. Even on Saturday? Yeah. Mm, okay. Or 8 o'clock-ish. Because I remember being in there till like 8 o'clock at the latest. Because I would make myself leave to go get dinner because there was no food in there. Right. So it's basically the same. Yeah. So, okay. But still, hell, you don't have people randomly coming in on regular campus tours. Just confusing you. Yeah. I almost got dragged into three campus tours. How? I would just be walking into the library and I somehow still look like a high schooler. <laughs> I was like, no, I go to school here. Let me go to work. <laughs> Let me go to class, woman. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, that makes me laugh. Did I just pass it? I think so. Oh my god. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Yeah, it's 81. We were supposed to get off at 83. I mean, it's, it's not the first time it's happened. <laughs> no, it's not. Chill, Becca. <laughs> <laughs> but we had fun the other time it happened because we were jamming along to music. 
Oh, so you're saying we're not having fun this time? We're still having fun. Okay. Now I just gotta figure out where we are though, because we've never come this far. We got off at 82 once, not 81. And we were almost to Ann Arbor. <laughs> oh shit, what are we on? Okay. This feels like. So. When you guys take me to Texas Roadhouse, I'm gonna say. And you kinda, we're gonna get back on 94 and see what happens here. I feel like we're going a little too fast around this corner here. Yeah, so. I forgot now what we were just talking about that got us so distracted. My mind is like. Oh, we were talking about your classes and yeah. oh, the hall and stuff like that. You're getting dragged at the campus tours. Yeah, getting dragged. In, I knew I was laughing hard about something. And it wasn't the tour guides, thankfully, who were mistaking me. It oh. would just be random moms. Oh, that's cool. It's like, ma'am, I go to class here. <laughs> Let me through. Okay, so there's 90... 82, or is that... Except oh, there is no 82. There's only an 83. Okay. So we've done that before. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But now we're going to be going like we came back from Texas Roadhouse. I have to turn left instead of right. Okay. Where's the Leo's at? There's like one five minutes away from the post office. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's better, me just coming up and taking you out to dinner. Yeah. That way you can sense, I mean, it's almost over. Yeah. So if you don't make it to my live this week, it's fine. If you want to stay in the library till midnight, just to get all your crap done. Yeah. Because you said it has to be done by Wednesday, right? Or was it by Tuesday? Wednesday, that's what I thought. So, and then if you have any other missing that you can catch up, you know. Yeah. <sighs> and then I already know next semester you probably won't come home a lot since you're taking what four SAG classes? Yep. So, I'm already prepared for that. Which it always seems like the spring semester. It's easier for me to stay up? No. It goes by so fast. It's like, wait a minute. What? You, wait, you get out of school in two weeks? What are you talking about? But it seems like the winter one just drags. Yeah. I don't know. Well, for me, it feels like the winter goes... The fall semester goes by quick, while the winter semester goes by slow. Really? Yeah. Huh, that's weird. But it speeds up at the end because of all the final two projects. Yeah, so... Don't feel like next semester that you have to go home. You know I want you home. Don't take yeah. it that way. <laughs> I wasn't taking it that okay. way. Okay. You gotta come home at least once a month. dog would probably eat me in my sleep. <laughs> that I didn't bring his tiny puffer fish home. His little mama. He loves his mama. So yeah. So what do I plan on doing this week? Well, I do plan on making my premiere I go Christmas Eve at 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve is my premiere slot 
So I plan on recording that. And I have something special that I'm going to do. So I hope you guys will enjoy it. But we'll see how it goes. Um, I can say it will involve my monopod. Monopod is where it's a tripod, but it's one leg. Oh. Yeah. I understood how that would work. Okay, you remember the one street of Christmas lights? Oh. I'm going to take them down that street. And then come back and do a whip and chat. Depending, because I am only there for, I'm only, I only have an hour. So if it's the whole time, well then we'll just get a whip and chat us. Because it's a long block, but it's very unique. It's so cool. Um. So just depending on how long it takes me to walk through there. Yeah. But I'm hoping to do it, um. Well, I'm going to look at the weather and see what is the warmest night. And I'm going to do it that. But being on a weekday night, I would never go on the weekend and try to do it. Yeah. All they would see is the back of people's heads. Yeah. So depending on how it works. And if it turns out to be crap, I'll just put you guys in the car and we'll just drive down the street slowly. <laughs> pointing you out that window and then going back pointing you out the other window <laughs> or no it would be the would same be window. the same window but you get to see both sides of the street <laughs> so we'll play around with that so I wanted to be a little different but we'll do a whip and chat either way because I'll be talking I'm not just gonna be walking down a street, street silently videotaping because I'm not shy when it comes to that. Because if people want to stare at me, you don't know who I'm talking to, first of all. And it's none of your damn business. So that's why I like taking you guys into Home Depot or stuff like that. Because I don't give a shit. This is what I want to do. We're going on a road trip. Let's go on a road trip together. I mean, well, I'm ultimately shy. Yes. If it was up to Becca, Becca would be like, uh... Do we really need to be doing this? And it's like, yes, we do. Because they don't know. What if I had grandkids who lived in like Florida and never got to see stuff like this? You'll well, see if there was snow, you know. You know what I'm saying? What? Wait, did, what did you say? You'll see your grandkids. No, but I'm saying they don't know I might have grandkids in Florida that I'm showing the pretty Christmas lights to. Oh my God. Yeah, you think you're moving away with my grandkids? Uh, that's when I will bolt a chain into the floor and you'll be chained to the floor. The kids would be able to roam around, but you're not taking my kid, my grandkids away from me. Um, if this does happen, people, you never saw this video. You never heard this. You are not an accomplice to my kidnapping of my daughter. <laughs> what about your son? You might get grandkids from him before you get grandkids from me. He wouldn't move away. Only you would move away from me. Look how far you live away from me now. <laughs> she has nothing to say. She is speechless. <laughs> she could not even defend. You should have seen her face sitting here. She's like, shit, she's got me there. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm joking. <laughs> Don't choke. Now you're going to die on me far away. Oh, how much stuff do you have? Enough for one trip. Oh, good. Okay, so I'm going to let you off here. Give your mommy kisses. Love you, baby girl. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Um, where is it? Back, front? Back, side. So you need that one open and that one open. Are you sure you're going to be able to do this in one? Yeah. Okay. I just I forgot you. to put the laptop in my laundry basket again. Are you keeping your dorm room clean? Yes. Okay, well, because you're moving out or you have to do it all over again, I bet you you're not getting your new roommate until the first of the year. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because it makes no sense that they were going to move her in this week. Yeah. So. 
you might as well just keep it clean. Yeah. You know? Okay, oh, love you, baby. Oh, yeah, take your pop. Take your poppy pop pops. Ooh, I hate that noise. So do I. I don't know why I slammed. It's because the side door's open and the back door's open, so you got a big suction. A big suction. Okay. Okay, can you hurry up and go? Because I still want to vlog here, you know. <laughs> dude, I'm kicking you out. Get the hell out of my car, dude. <laughs> Bye. Love you. You don't love me. Oh, shut up. Mm, I do love her. Okay. Becca is off to college. Oh. <sighs> I have to make plans to come see her during the week or during the weekend because I know I won't have any weddings so before I couldn't when she would stay up but I do like to come up and at least take her out to dinner first of all because she get well we're gonna go Johnny's way Johnny says if you go this way it cuts five minutes off I don't think it does but I don't see how it could be five minutes But we'll see. I guess it is a big... Okay. I could see maybe three minutes. Not a whole five. I'm not giving him the whole five. Okay. Anyways, I know. Stop picking on Johnny. He's not even here. He doesn't watch my vlogs. He doesn't watch my videos. He just likes to be in the videos. Okay. So. Anyways, what I was saying is I like to come up here and... Um, make sure she gets at least one good meal. I usually take her to like um, Texas Roadhouse or Olive Garden or well we go to three places. Texas Roadhouse, Olive Garden or um, ba -da 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 -da. Bob Evans. Bob Evans down on the farm. I can always get the song but I have to like sing it and then I'll remember the name. Um And then she always has leftovers, so then I know she's got two, one and a half decent meals, you know, so, but she's quite happy. She has, um, what is it called? Four, um, where I, where I pressure, not pressure. What is it called? That thing that I did, I figured out on my live, the vacuum seal. Food saver. She has four food saver bags of um, portions. Oh my God, my brain. Chili. We made chili last night. Well, she made her chili last night and asked if I would make four containers up for her because What's cool is mm, we made sure um, when the first day she, that she was at college that she had the refrigerator with a freezer because we weren't going to trust roommates to have it and then each year she gets a new roommate and every single year she's been the one with the refrigerator and they never had a refrigerator. So I'm really glad that we made that decision. Um, it was one of her uh, graduation gifts because we knew she was going to going away for college. And she got her choice and she picked um, that as one of her graduation party, uh, graduation presents. Ooh, because she knew she would use it for at least four years. So, yeah, probably six. She is going to try to go to um, undergraduate school there and do um, another computer program thing. I don't know what it's called. Now her program is what is called SAG. It's simulation, animation, and gaming. So it spells out SAG. Then 
when she goes to do her undergraduate, it will be more of the um, IT, I think is what it's called, IT part, IT tech, meaning she wants to learn how to fix the computers and I don't know, all that other computer-y shit. And I think she, I think she looked into it and an undergraduate, or I don't know if that's what it's called. I don't think it's undergraduate program or is it a graduate program? I don't remember what it's called, but okay. So she's going for her bachelor's now. And then the next one she goes for, I think is a two year program. I don't know. I don't know all the logistics. But for some reason, the number two sticks into my head. Because I don't think it was another four-year program. I don't know. Now I'm, like, really confused. Okay, so. Oh, anyways. Oh, my God. So, she has... I make her... I do the leftovers in the vacuum seal bags and then we lay them flat and we freeze them in our freezer flat and then she takes them up to her freezer and they fit perfect in her freezer so she has chili she has homemade chicken noodle soup she has cheesy soup and she has spaghetti up there. Now, if she has any left, I don't know. Knowing her, probably not. <laughs> because she rather just go back to the dorm. Well, what she's been doing too, is before she leaves, she lays it out to thaw. Because her classes are only, she's usually gone, I think it's three and a half hours. And then she comes back and then it's thawed enough where she can heat it up in the microwave. So, she said it's been working out really well for her. And that's all that matters, right? So, and then while she's on Christmas break, we're going to do a variety of different things. So she will have a variety. Because I bet you she doesn't have anything left up there. I should have asked her. I don't know why I didn't. But what I'm supposed to be doing too is during the week. Which I haven't done it. Which we haven't made any meals that I could do that. Um, what I'm supposed to be doing is making her meals. And then she can take them back up there. Uh, we haven't been doing that. I don't know why either. Hmm. I'm going to have to like make myself a note and put it on the refrigerator. Did you seal any up for Becca? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay guys. Um, wow. This is already an hour long. That's crazy. So, the next clip you'll see is I'll show you my Christmas decorations. And then I'll show you what my progress was this week. Which won't take long whatsoever. And then I'll put it up tonight. Hopefully I can get it up before midnight. Because I really like to put my vlogs up Sunday night. And I don't really like posting this late at night. But had a lot to do today and I usually don't take Becca up this late. It's nine o'clock by the way. I don't know if I told you guys. Because usually it's like six o'clock when we're taking her back. But it looks the same because you know daylight savings time. So yeah. Okay guys see you in the next clip. We're home so here it is. You can't see it, but it's rude off. Okay, and then we come home. Oh. And then, oh shoot, wasn't paying attention. 
there's the garland and then the picture that Becca's gonna wrap like presents and the garland and the snowflakes couldn't think of what they were called and then the garland and then look how pretty it is when the lights are off isn't that nice okay so here's my seat so I sit down and that's what I get to look at yay so oh 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 wait I gotta and do one Morgan more Morgan said we had to have a Christmas tree so she made that Christmas tree so let's try this again come back okay now there's my little view and I got my little Christmas tree and it's so party yay okay uh, give me a second and I'll show you my progress okay real simple here's my progress this is the only progress I have had all week and I was only allowed to work on this on Saturday with friends and it only took me three weeks to finish it but isn't it beautiful it's stunning I love it so that's it hope you guys enjoyed this vlog bye guys